J was on the internet and he was sitting here saying, stop blaming it on his girlfriend or stop blaming it on his brother or whoever else in the family because he was saying just maybe a couple of days before Rich Homie's passing that Rich Homie was telling him, you're like, dog, I'm probably never really going to be able to get back to where I was until I pass away. Like, people aren't going to praise me, give me the acknowledgement that I deserve or which the ones that I used to have until I pass away. So the crazy thing is listening to his new project and I was kind of like, I felt bad because it's like, and of course, I'm sure people you don't know, Rich Homie did pass away from an overdose. I think they said it was like mixed with a few different drugs that may have helped with the um, with the overdose. And again, like I said, rest in peace to Rich Homie Quan. But the sad thing to me, even that whole statement of just one where he was saying like, it was the fans, not necessarily, and it may not be the fans, it may be the trolls. And we talk about this all the time on here on social media, but the DJ was like, one of the things that was upset and rich homie the most was every time he would post some people be in his comment section with the rat emojis or whatever the case may be, realistically, and rich homie ain't never even told nobody. He never took the stand or whatever the case may be, but that was getting the best of him, especially because it was getting overlooked from the music. And then he just put out a new project on Friday. And the sad thing about it is listening to that project made me kind of be like, Damn, it's like, no, you would have got back. Even it's it's his song, it's called One of Quan. And but basically, like him kind of throwing shots at, at Gunner. And not necessarily throwing shots at Gunner, but kind of allowing people to remember, hey, I came up with this sound first. I I waved in this sound, and that's why that sound is so easy for y'all to digest. That's why that sound went so easy when you heard it with Thug, because me and Thug already did this. I already sit here and done this before, so this is not something brand new. Like, let's not act weird. And that song to me was fire, and I was like, dang, y'all, if you could have... I don't, because it's like, it's so, it's, it's weird because when people overdose, it kind of make you sometimes, of course, question a little bit. Was it just, um, was it actually just an overdose or did you do it kind of like on purpose because maybe you was fighting some depressions? And then let's be clear, if from the way it seems like the word that the DJ was using, it sound like Rich Homie was kind of really fighting a lot of depressions. But I'm like, dog, if you could have literally just waited until this project came out, because bro, this project, I'm not going to lie to you, it's hard. It may be one of his best bodies of work he put out in a long time. And it's just so sad that he's not even going to be able to get to reap the benefits of this music. And the thing that kind of blow me a little bit, it kind of make me be like, damn, uh, Quan and put out so put out music and leading up into the last couple of years, but I'm like, damn, why he never really got even just like today. If you go on Apple Music, it's literally right here on the front page. Boom, it's right next to the new. It's just, as a matter of fact, on my joint, it's right before the new T Grizzly. So it's like literally, you want to look out for new albums that came out this Friday. The Rich Homie joint right there, boom, in your face, easy to find. And it's like, damn, sometimes it just blow you because it's like, hey, did you have to? Did he have to pass away for him to actually be able to get? this type of recognition. And like I said, to me, my favorite two songs off of this project is the um, uh, Where You Been, Quan, and, and featuring a Quick Trip. And Quick Trip is one of uh, Bank Road Fresh homeboys. Um, rest in peace to Bank Road Fresh. And then what was the, oh, and, the, and of course, the one of Quan. That, was, that too, and let's be clear, he came in, I like the intro, even using like some clips from uh, people in the hip hop space talking like, I think he even had a clip of like Charlamagne giving him donkey of the day. He had different clips, I believe, like some shootout that he was um, involved in or his crew was involved in it, like leaving some strip club. He had different little clips that he was playing in the intro. And that the, the sad thing is, the saddest song on it was uh, Another Morning, and that's number two. And that song is kind of just like knowing the fact that he passed because the hook is like somebody else didn't wake up today. And it's just so crazy, and it just be like, dog, you never know what people's going through, and that's, I guess, one of the things where it's like celebrate people, give them their flowers while they can actually smell them. But it, to me, it was just like, dang, this Rich Homie John was on point. And I kind of just, it made me really be like, if you if he had something to do with his own demise, it's like dog, you could have just gave yourself a couple more weeks and you would have actually allowed people to champion you the way you 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 properly needed to be placed up. Cause I honestly think like I see people reaching for like and I and I do, I mean I pay attention because you can see blogs is actually into the hip hop space. They didn't kind of they just put YSL as a group, like so whoever YSL members, because Future did have a line on there talking about uh people, you know, testifying, taking a stand on uh on Young Thug, whatever the case may be, they deserve to die, whatever the case may be. But this rich homie Quan Jones kind of like shooting that gunner. I felt like if rich if rich homie was still alive, that stir up for him would have been better because people would have started to compare their careers and started to be able to put up song versus song, and that could have kind of helped elevate him and get him back into the conversation. It's like I almost feel like again, and I'm not saying he's saying he did it to himself, but it's like damn, you kind of gave up on life too soon.
because that's all you can realistically. That's like I said, and that's not me trying to like put any type of bad oomph on his name. But I mean, realistically, you talking about an overdose, it's just like. I mean, what you want? I don't want to come on here and be like, say no to drugs, kids. I mean, yeah, say no to drugs. But at the same time, it's like, dang, dog, did you just give up on yourself too soon? You didn't believe, you didn't allow your music to actually do what the music's supposed to do, in which it has always done for you. Sometimes, I mean, it, it just, sometimes you can put out music and it do go on deaf ears, but that can go for anybody. Like, look at somebody like T Grizzly. T Grizzly just put out a project, like, yeah, I want to say maybe like, I want to say like maybe two months ago, or maybe it might have been a little bit longer, maybe been maybe three months ago. I really can't remember, but T Grizzly recently, this ain't T Grizzly first project this year. Sometimes every project ain't going to hit the same way. Or I can use Future. Use Future, for example. Like I told y'all, them first two projects, yeah, they charted on the billboard, but do I think Future thought that those projects did what he thought it wanted to do? No. So that's my only thing with Rich Homie Quan is like, dog, I just wish you would have gave yourself the opportunity to allow this music to speak for itself and actually allow this music to get some real traction and allow people to sit here and even start that conversation because now it's kind of like, I feel like that song cranked that and but people not really going to drag it or really talk about it because I mean he passed. So it's kind of just like I don't necessarily know if it's going to stir up the conversation that it should because I mean Gunna never going to respond to it because I mean I feel like Gunna got some type of class about itself. So it's like I'm not going to sit here and, and throw shots with shade of dead man. So again, like I said, rest in rich home, rest in peace to rich homie Quan. I just wish he would have actually gave himself a little bit of chance. Real quick before we get into too many topics. So I'm going, of course, like you know, trying trying out 